California. From now on, you can call me California Bob. And I wanted to bring you a few scriptures, a little, a few, a few thoughts uh, regarding uh, scripture and thoughts from the Holy Bible. I thought I would start today thinking about the prophecies of Christ and the birth of Christ. So uh, if you want to get your Bible and maybe a scratch pad and a pen, uh, you can follow along. Maybe that will help you. My desire is to encourage you in your life in these days of trouble in the world. I want to help you in any way that I can. So let's go ahead and start. The uh, first place um, I'm going to start is in Isaiah chapter 7, verse uh, 14. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Our uh, next reference is in Micah. It's a little book near the back of the Old Testament. Micah chapter 5 verses 1 and 2. Now gather yourself in troops, O daughter of troops. He has laid siege against us. They will strike the judge of Israel with a rod on the cheek. But you, Bethlehem, Ephratah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from old, from everlasting. And then the uh, next one is in uh, Genesis chapter 49. We'll turn there. Genesis chapter 49, verses 16 and 17, and I see that my uh, marker dropped out. Genesis chapter 49, and uh, I'm going to start uh, with uh, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh comes, and to him shall be the obedience of the people. I'll just read that one uh, verse, verse 10, uh, for now. So um, I also now want to uh, read uh, Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to 16, and we'll take a look at that. Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to 16. And um, there, there's a whole lot of names in there, the first uh, 14 verses or so. Um, it, it shows the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Then in verse 16, it, it uh, speaks of Jacob. Jacob begot Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations. From David until the captivity in Babylon are fourteen generations. And from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ are fourteen generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her 
is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. So that is the Christmas uh, story, the beginning of the Christmas story right here. Next time we'll continue this reading into the events that follow, and uh, we want to thank you for being with us. See you next time. Have a good day. God bless you.